Welcome. Thank you all for being here today. What we want to stress here today is a problem in our community, and there are thieves among us. When people go into a store and they grab something off the shelf and they try to run out of the store without paying for it, everyone quickly identifies them as thieves. If someone takes something from your car or from your home, you quickly identify them as thieves. The problem that we have is that when people steal by using bad checks, there's some confusion in our community. They don't believe that this is a criminal offense. It is. Just as detrimental as any of those that I've already listed. Today we have two of our local business owners here today to represent all the business owners within our community. Nancy Rabb, owner of the Wagabag stores that are throughout our community, celebrating 50 years this year within our community. We also have Richard Lee with Nails, Spas, and Things here in Georgetown. I wanted the community to see that business owners are real people. They are your neighbors. They are your friends. They are in our community and they are helping out. And we need to return that favor. It's not fair to them to be stolen from. It's not fair to our community to have to pay the cost of people stealing items from their stores or losing our local business owners because they have to shut their doors due to these thefts. That ends today. And hopefully our community will send a message that we will not tolerate thieves in our community. And that's the reason that we're here for this hot check warrant roundup. The most wanted that you will see on these posters here are not buying food to sustain themselves. They're buying luxury items. Items that if you and I cannot afford them, we forego them. They're stealing jewelry, TVs, spa services, liquor, cable TV. Warrants for arrest are active for all of these individuals. That means if they get pulled over for a traffic stop, they will be arrested. The Williams County Crime Stoppers have teamed up with our office to make sure that their names and their faces are out in the community. And I can guarantee you that somebody knows these folks and will be glad to turn them in to make a little extra cash. To those who have hot checks that are on these boards or that are out in the community that know they have warrants, I'm telling you this, this is your one chance to make things right. Today, through May the 3rd, we're going to have an amnesty period. If you come into this justice complex, or we've made it easier than ever before with cooperation from our local chambers of commerce, we have extended hours and community locations in the chambers in Round Rock, Taylor, Leander, and Georgetown. So if you can't make it to Georgetown, to the Justice Center, you can go there and pay your checks and make things right. If you do, we'll recall the warrants. We will recall the warrants and you will avoid a ride to jail. The chambers can also be a point of contact for our local merchants. I had a business owner last week just tell me I didn't know there was anything I could do about this. That saddens me. I want them to know that this is a service that we provide to the community and that we do take it serious. So if you want to know how the process works, Deb Lewis, the director of our hot checks department, will be at these locations. She can walk you through the process. She can help so that you understand how to bring these checks to our attention for prosecution. In the short time that we have started this particular hot check warrant roundup, we are $2,000 under recovering $100,000 to return to our local merchants. And we still have this amnesty period to go. 19 defendants, though, have already been arrested. Just because there is an amnesty period, you have to get to us before law enforcement gets to you. So I urge you to come in immediately. My frustration is, is that the business owners try to help people make it right. If you have made a mistake, they give you the first chance to make it right. And I want you to understand the responses that our local business owners and community leaders face when they reach out. This is an individual, when given the opportunity to make things right by a local merchant, sent this into them. This individual is basically saying, I do not respect this community, I do not respect local business owners, and I do not respect the rule of law. When we as an office try to contact them, and we try to give them the courtesy of making things right, we had one respond to us that said, if this was really important to you, then someone would be knocking on my door 
and taking me to jail. I would like to draw your attention to those standing behind me in uniform. They represent our local agencies that want you to understand that it's important to them as well that we support our local community. And if you fail to come in during this amnesty period that ends May the 3rd, these are the people that will be knocking on your door and putting the handcuffs on so that you understand that we do take it serious. You have one chance. Step up, do the right thing, pay what is owed, and let's move on down the road. Because if you don't, when they knock on your door, when they put those handcuffs on, you can't say that we didn't warn you. Thank you for your time today.